Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to create additional users in Windows 10 or Windows 11. You have a lot of uh, ways uh, to create a user account in Windows 10 or Windows 11, but the simplest method I'm going to explain today. Uh, first of all, you will have to go to the control panel. You can directly search for user. Then you will get an option like add, edit or remove other users. Click on this one. Here you can add a user. Otherwise, if you don't find this option, you can also go to control panel and just make sure you're clicking the large icons. If it's uh, showing like this, you will have to click on, um, if it's showing like this, you will have to click on the large icons so that it will um, show all the options available. Here also you need to find the click uh, users option. So you can see here user accounts. Both of them are same, it doesn't have any difference, but this one, this option, you can use it in all the Windows versions, starting from Windows 7. You can, you can use Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, or even Windows 11, and from uh, here you can add one more user. So here you can do one thing, manage, um, you have uh, different options here. Uh, click on the um, manage another account, click on manage another account, and then you have option down below add new user in PC settings you just need to click on this one it will take you to the same settings which we have uh, shown before but if it's a Windows 7 or um, Windows 7 computer Windows 10 and Windows 11 uh, in some version it will take you to this one uh, but Windows 7 it will be uh, in the same window and he here you will be able to create the account in the same window alright so here we are going to create an account add someone else to the PC and when you click on this one, normally it will ask you for the um, sign-in information of the per pe person, like email address or phone number. So what you need to do if you are creating a local user account, you just need to click on, I don't have this person sign-in information. Just click on this one and then it will ask you for uh, creating an account. But here also we are skipping. It will ask it will uh, ask you to create account always but you'll just need to skip that one just choose this option add a user without Microsoft account then it will ask create a user for this PC if you want to use a password to something that will be easy for you to remember but hard for others to guess all right so we're gonna put the name of the person for me I'm uh, creating an account for myself for um, my business purpose so I'm gonna choose business or work related or professional whatever I'm gonna name it professional and password just make it simple just need to type it again two times you need to type you can even see it here and the security question you can choose a different security question and different answers but usually for our tutorial purpose I'm gonna give um, a same answer for all the security question I don't wanna because in your case if multiple uh, if different people are using your computer just make sure you are giving um, proper questions and proper answers click on next so an account is added local account professional now what I want to do I want to make this account as um, administrator account right now this is a local account with the limited privileges but I want to make it uh, administrator so click on change account type and here I'm gonna make administrator click on OK alright now you can see here professional administrator local account alright fine you just need to uh, go back to just sign out from this account then you can see your new account there with the username as professional and the password whatever password you have given all right um, thank you for watching guys subscribe to the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye